Good afternoon, EH History and English or English and History, Mr. Mendez students. As you may or may not know, I will be out tomorrow, Wednesday, January 23rd through Friday, January 25th, because I will be up, way up, closer to the Canadian border than I will be to the Twin Cities, where it will be a high of negative four on Friday. That's the high. Yikes. So we will be truly in an ice box. Um, hopefully next year when you go, it's a little bit more manageable and reasonable. Um, I'm just going to give you an overview of what you're doing this week with the sub. So that's the purpose of this screencast. An overview of what you're doing this week with the sub, Wednesday through Friday. For history class, and I will get into more specifics with my history students after I go over the full overview, but students will work with their assigned partners and teachers Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday during periods two and four. One interesting or unique thing is on Wednesday tomorrow, my class or my students that I am teaching will be visiting the library for about 10 minutes where Ms. Bidlin will go over a database where you can find good sources and you may want to replace some of your dud sources on your source list with the good ones that she shows you. Um, the focus of the week is gathering info about the topic's life, so you're going to become experts on the topic's life, as well as the times within which he or she lived. So you're going to study major events that went on during the person's life, just like the election of um, President Obama, the first president of color, was an impactful moment in your life, or 9-11, or the Iraq War was an impactful moment in my life, um, the times of your particular topic, your topics may be World War II or World War I, or something along those lines, or the Great Depression, or the Civil War, etc. So you're going to study those events so you can filter that into your interview to really round out your character and make it believable. English, this is for periods five and seven. You're going to turn in the civil rights timeline on Wednesday, that's tomorrow. Um, some people are not going to be done with this. Um, you and your partners really have until Friday to turn in that civil rights timeline. However, you also have, as I'll get to, a Minnesota treaties test to take on Friday. I don't want this eating into that time. So you need to get this timeline turned in as quickly as possible. Just turn it into the inbox and just be careful with it so it doesn't bend or get ruined. Um, mainly you're going to be reading two short stories over the next three days. Um, one is called President Cleveland, Where Are You? And another one's called Aaron's Gift and you're going to complete a handout on stealing and point of view by the end of uh, class on Friday. So you have two, you have three days to work on these two stories. You can take them home and read them if you want. All the materials will be given to you. And then when you're ready, you can take two short comprehension quizzes on them. They're only five questions long. Um, for both President Cleveland, where are you? You're going to focus on STE. So speech, thoughts, and effect on others. And then for Aaron's gift, you're fo focusing on actions, looks, and narrator comments. So I split those in half so that you're focusing on uh, the different aspects of steel and depending on the story you're reading. So pay attention to the directions for those. There are screencasts posted with these assignments on Classroom that will tell you exactly what you have to do. And then you're going to take the Minnesota Treaties test on Friday and uh, have your IR books on them, or on you, <laughs> at all times in case you complete work early. Some people read faster than others and will get this maybe done by Thursday at the end of class. And if that's the case, you'll have some time on Friday after the Minnesota Treaties Test to do some reading, maybe update your reading log. So that's the look ahead there. If you are not in my Minnesota uh, Minnesota interview group, you can stop the video. If you are in my Minnesota interview group, you will be taking notes on source one, two, or source two, three, and four this week. And there's screencasts telling you what to do. As you can see, here's the screencast explaining exactly what you need to do 
for each one of these assignments. So before you start as a short screencast explaining the assignment so the sub doesn't have to do the complex explaining. But a lot of it is stuff you're very familiar with. So when it's all said and done, you're going to be an expert on your topic's life as well as the time surrounding your topic. If you have any questions, I do have access to the internet, so feel free to email me. Um, and I will get back to you as best I can. Up there, the internet has become more reliable, but it's certainly not as good as it, as it is at your homes or at Breck. So have a good week, and I will see you on Monday next week, the 28th. All right, over and out.